Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to use prime factorization in order to find the least common multiple or LCM. The LCM of two numbers is the smallest number that they both divide evenly into. So let's get started. Let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. In order to use prime factorization, the first thing we need to do is create some factor trees. So first with 6, 2 times 3 equals 6. I will circle the 2 and the 3 because they are both prime. Next, 8, I will start with 2 times 4. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And now 2 times 2 equals 4, so I will circle them also. Next, what I will do is create a prime factorization chart. So with 6, I will write 2 and 3. With 8, I will write 2, skip a space, and then write 2 and 2. Now what I need to do is apply these two simple rules. First, use one factor from every column. Second, use only one factor from a vertical pair. So first, we have 2 and 2. It's a vertical pair, so I would just write 2. I will. The next column is 3, so I will have 3. Then I will multiply 2 and 2. So I have 2 times 3 times 2 times 2, and that equals 24. So the least common multiple of 6 and 8 equals 24. Let's learn how to use prime factorization in order to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. The greatest common factor of two numbers is the largest number that divides evenly into both of these numbers. So let's get started. Let's find the greatest common factor of 6 and 8. To begin with, let's start with some factor trees. With 6, let's begin with 2 times 3. I will circle the 2 and the 3 because they both are prime. For 8, I will begin with 2 times 4. I will circle the 2 because it is prime. And then I will multiply 2 times 2 because, and I will circle both of the twos because they are prime. So now we have all the prime numbers. The next thing we need to do is create a prime factorization chart. So I will write the prime numbers for six, which is two and three, and then the prime numbers for eight. I will skip a space where the three is because I do not have a three, so I will write two, skip a space, two and two. I next will use this rule. Use only one factor from a column if you have a vertical pair. So let's put this into practice. Column one, we have a vertical pair of twos. So I will bring the two down. Next for three, I do not have a vertical pair. The other two, no vertical pair. Or the next two, no vertical pair. So my greatest common factor of 6 and 8 is 2. I'll continue to work some examples so hopefully you'll get a hang of using prime factorization in order to find the greatest common factor.